Hello student of class 7. Let's start a new chapter respiration in organism. This is a very important chapter from the view of biology. So student till today whatever concept you have taken about respiration in this chapter we will get more depth about the respiration different kind of respiration inside the cell and on lungs so many things we are going to know in this chapter so let's start out our chapter so as you know an organism require energy for perform various activity now question comes here how organism get this energy we know that we get this energy from food now from food how this energy deliver in our body have you noticed that we breathe heavily and quickly while doing some of the activities shown in the diagram why do you think this is so and also you observe that whenever you have more energy you can run very with very high speed and when you have less energy you feel tired and you cannot walk or you cannot run quickly so this all kind of answer we are going to explore in this chapter start respiration we have learned in previous class that the food we eat is digested into simple soluble substances such as glucose by the process of digestion glucose is the main source of energy for our body it is absorbed in the small intestine and transported by blood to various cells of the body inside the cell glucose is broken down to release energy the process by which oxygen is used to release energy from food is called respiration so student respiration definition we can define this way the process of breaking down of food in presence of oxygen and to give energy this is called respiration the energy released is used to carry out for various metabolizing as metabolizing activity required for life respiration uh, consists of two processes one is external respiration or we can say breathing another one is internal respiration or cellular respiration external respiration the process involves of gas oxygen rich air is taken into the body and carbon dioxide rich air is given out this exchange of gases is a continuous process that goes on throughout the lifetime of an organism it involves specific organ tissues or cell internal respiration or cellular respiration in this process involves the release of energy from food by the breaking down inside the cell inside the cell of the body since this process takes place inside the cell so we can say it is internal or cellular respiration glucose is oxidized means with oxygen glucose add in this process and to form carbon dioxide water and energy carbon dioxide and vapor are very a uh, byproducts which formed in this equation the process is represented in the form of the following chemical equation glucose is adding with oxygen and to form carbon dioxide water and energy so this is the equation of internal respiration or cellular respiration so student remember whenever we eat some food that food completely break down in our small intestine that nutrition is absorbed by the villi and sand to the all cells of the body by, by the help of the blood and when the food or nutrition or glucose goes inside the cell inside the cell oxygen also present then it break down 
inside the cell in presence of oxygen and form three product carbon dioxide water and air carbon dioxide is a harmful substance for the cell which should be exhaled from our body and water is absorbed by the body and energy we use for perform different activity so we have found few differences between external respiration and internal respiration external respiration is a process it is involving the exchanges of gas by inhalation and exhalation internal respiration is a process of breaking down of food inside the cell in presence of oxygen and to give energy external respiration is also called breathing internal respiration is also called cellular respiration in external respiration it is an extracellular process that takes place outside the cells that means on lungs internal respiration takes place in cell body in external respiration no energy release but internal respiration energy release so these are the differences between external and internal respiration external respiration or breathing in human involves several organs like lungs nose wind pipe many organs involves in the process of external respiration the air that we take by breathing passes through our nostril and enter the nasal cavity tiny hairs which are present in the nostril trap the dust harmful substance and microorganism and the fresh air sent to the lungs the inner lining of the nasal cavity contains some mucus gland which always produce some mucus their secretion prevents the drying of tissues and moisten the inhaled air the blood capillaries in the nasal cavity warm up the air before it enters the nasal cavity so nasal nasal cavity is the pipe which through which air can go inside our body